Hi, welcome to the EEV blog, an electronics engineering video blog of interest to anyone involved in electronics design. I'm your host, Dave Jones. Hi, just a quick one. This is not actually going to be part of my soldering tutorial. I just so happen to be playing around with a little three axis accelerometer and I want to hook it up to a microchip pick uh, chip and I thought uh, I would just show you uh, just the process of actually soldering this thing dead bug style. I've talked about this before uh, because these uh, three axis accelerometers uh, they are not really available in, they've discontinued all of the usable uh, packages like uh, for basic soldering or the SO uh, type packages and even DIP type packages. You can only get them in these tiny little um, LGA or other type surface mount packages now and they're a real pain in the ass. But I thought I'd just show you, I was just going to uh, hook one up to this uh, PIC demo board so I could play with it uh, and do some software and I just uh, thought I'd show you soldering that chip. So let's go. Here's the pick kit uh, demo board I'm going to use. I just had this uh, lying around and it just so happened to have a, a reasonable pick chip on it and a prototyping area here. And here's my little tiny LGA package uh, accelerometer, three millimeters by two millimeters and I'm going to solder onto here dead bug style. And here's the actual LGA type package it's called. It's a 14 pin LGA and uh, as you can see it's 5 millimeters by 3 millimeters in comparison to a standard quarter watt resistor here. It's it's not overly tiny in uh, the scheme of things for surface mount stuff today but it still is a real pain to solder because as you can see um, it's it doesn't have the uh, pads extending down the side of the case so you can't really once you lay this thing down on the board these pads are not directly accessible with the soldering iron. So really these chips are only designed for a reflow soldering process. They're not really designed for hand soldering. So that's why today I'm going to actually flip it upside down like this and then I'm going to individually wire tiny little bond wires over to my prototyping area here. So I'm going to sit it on here and I'm going to wire in all the individual pads over to a larger footprint which then I can um, access via hand soldering. This is an example of dead bug style construction. Now the term dead bug actually comes from um, actually turning something like a dip package upside down on its back like that and it looks like a bug with its legs on its back dead with its legs sticking up in the air like that and that's where the term comes from so even though this little LGA package does not have uh, legs sticking up in the air you would still I would still call this dead bug style construction so you flip it on the back you actually glue it down and then you individually solder almost like um, almost like what's what happens inside an IC itself they and the machines automatically insert bond automatically wiring little bond wires to the pads which go out if you actually opened one of these uh, dip chips inside you will find like a silicon uh, a silicon die like that with little bond wires going out to these larger legs and that's pretty much exactly what we're going to do here today. Now I'm pretty confident of doing this one because it has a 0.8 millimeter pin to pin pitch and that's uh, reasonably large. The pads on there are reasonably large in the scheme of things so I shouldn't really have too much trouble I don't think um, actually wiring this one up. It, uh, we should be able to do it reasonably easily using a bit of magnification. I could probably do it by eye as well but we'll actually use some ma magnification today. Just start uh, two and a half times or something like that just to help us in actually uh, soldering onto the pads and making sure we don't short things out. And there's the device that we're going to solder. It's the uh, MMA 7455 3 axis accelerometer. It's from uh, Freescale and that's the LLG 14 pin package. Now as you can see uh, over in that uh, little uh, the bottom left corner there it does have a little pin 1 marker. It's important for us to actually get uh, that correct when we flip it over so we know exactly what pins what. It seems to have another little uh, marker there if you can see it which uh, indicates that it's the same side but you just have to remember uh, which one is actually pin 1. Okay we want to add a tiny little drop of super glue down in here just so that we can hold that chip in place. 
There we go, we've just uh, tacked that in place. It, this stuff sets almost instantly, of course, so you've got to be very, very careful. But uh, that will just hold our chip in place while we solder it, because you don't want the thing moving around. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to apply some flux from this flux pen just across the uh, main pads there and also on top of the device as well just so we can get some good wetting onto those uh, pads. And what I'm going to use to make the connections is some wire wrapping wire, solid core 30AWG uh, tinned wire and this is really useful stuff I highly recommend you get some it's uh, quite fine it's great for uh, doing mods like this and in fact it is called uh, mod wire and it comes in various colors and uh, there's the actual um, it's an OK Industries uh, brand 130AWG and using my chisel point iron and my 0.46 millimeter solder I'm going to tin these pads um, I've already tinned a couple and that didn't, uh, unfortunately I didn't press the record button, oops. And uh, this is not my finest work because I am trying to do this under the, under the uh, camera. So the angle of the iron is not um, ideal to how I'd normally do it, but uh, you can just tin these pads like that and then we will um, solder the wires, each individual bond wire onto those and take them out to the individual pads. Let's try and solder a wire onto there. Um, it, can pay, it can pay you to actually tin these wires first um, just so that they uh, wet a bit better but there you go that first one is attached and then we will just get in there and we'll actually uh, cut that and we'll get in and we'll push that down so it contacts one of the pads. Let's say that one there, and then this one will go to that pad, that one will go to that pad, and so forth. Now I need to add some more solder to these pads in here because it, the last process just uh, sucked a fair bit of that away. So we'll get in here with our wire again. And I'm doing all this through the camera LCD. I can't actually uh, see the board here, so this would just be just like working under a microscope, really. Except I haven't got much in the way of magnification here, but there we go. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to tin the uh, wire because this is a fairly, uh, fairly important uh, step. Although this is already tinned copper wire. Um, really, that uh, you've got to add some flux on there, clean it, get some fresh solder on there, to, just to make sure it really takes. And after I do that, I clean my iron on my sponge, and hopefully, if there's enough solder on the uh, pad on the chip, that will be enough to reflow onto my what my already tinned wire, and. Yep, there it goes. There. Made an attachment. Nice and quick, easy, and a good quality joint. And this one here, I've got to bend a bit further over. And don't bend it down directly, because you don't want these to short, because they aren't insulated uh, wires. But it's uh, pretty easy to solder them onto a smaller, um, well a larger, sorry, uh, diameter um, pad. So in, later on I will actually solder uh, flying leads directly off these pads here onto my pick chip.
And there's my completed dead bug chip. It's uh, not my finest uh, work. It is surprisingly difficult um, to do on, on a shallow angle uh, when you've got the camera in the way, but uh, a bit harder than usual. But that only took me like uh, five minutes or something like that. It wasn't hard at all. And I've now converted that um, in an LGA package chip into a much more uh, usable pitch that I can actually come along and now um, solder on some of this uh, mod wire. I'll just uh, solder them onto each of those and then over to the specific pin on the pick chip which I need. Simple. So that should work a treat. Uh, I'll have to do some um, more uh, up close uh, visual inspections under the microscope but that looks fine to me.